Hello, my name is Rothman and welcome back to my weight loss journey. Day 19, it is Friday the 13th. I'm not a big fan of Friday the 13th. In fact, I kind of hate Friday the 13th. I don't like it at all. Wait, is today day 19? Am I off a day? I think I'm off a day. Oh, I don't, I don't remember what day it is. So what to be? Uh, hold on a second. Today's day 20, which means yesterday was day 19, which means I need to go back and fix that video. I will do that. <laughs> uh, and I, I told you guys that, uh, I, my internet was down yesterday. It, it was, it was, it was down almost all day yesterday. So I wasn't able to upload any videos. Um, so before I upload that video, which you're going to be getting today, I'm going to go back and fix it because it should be day 19, not day 20. Um, or, <laughs> day 19, not day 18. Today is day 20. So today started the day off with a good breakfast. I saw, I cooked up some bacon and then I added in some spinach. And then on top of that, I put four eggs, mixed it all together, made a little scramble. And then I put two pieces of pepper jack cheese, the, the sliced sandwich pepper jack cheese. I know it looks hokey and tacky because it's sliced cheese, little squares instead of the shredded cheese melted over the top. Doesn't look pretty. It doesn't matter. It's it, all that matters is that you're eating healthy. I'm eating healthy. You're eating healthy. We're all eating healthy. We're being good. We're following our diet. We're following our plan. That's all that matters. I don't care if it looks good because it's, it's just going from plate to mouth to stomach and then to the toilet and the sewage later. <laughs> and then we followed that up with a quick break, drinking lots of water. Ah, water. And some more cardio exercise. We did the same DVD as we did yesterday and was able to go longer today. A lot of it was because I really pushed myself. I was still really gassed throughout most of it. Um, I got a good ways into it. <sighs> did, I, I feel like I did pretty well with most of the exercises. Uh, it's teaching you basic combat sports like basic boxing moves, the a jab, uppercut, a hook, and then basic blocks for karate that can go hand in hand with the same same basic stance as um, martial arts as there is in karate. Maybe a little wider stance for karate. And then doing doing some kicks, which I hadn't made it to the kicks yet with that DVD, which is good because that means that I'm I'm improving. So I'm really happy that I was able to make it to the kicks. I wasn't able to make it all the way through the kicks and all that stuff. I still haven't made it all the way through the entire DVD, but I did make progress and that's what matters. Progress. We want to show improvement. And that doesn't necessarily mean improvement in, in weight loss. Because one of the things we have to keep in mind is weight loss is the building of muscle and burning of fat whether it be the 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 uh the structure of the muscle you're building up or actually building up strength muscles i am not even saying that right i'm not even sure how to, how to word it properly but basically what it comes down to is my understanding from everything that i've read everything that i've heard everything i've ever been told is that muscle burns fat so in order to burn fat you need to build muscle, which means that you're going to gain some weight before you start losing weight. You may lose some weight initially, especially when you start a new diet, but once you start exercising and you start working those muscles and building those muscles again, more than likely you're going to gain a little weight before you start losing weight again, because you, you're you building up the muscle which burns the fat and muscle weighs more than fat to begin with. So keep that in mind. When you, when you start an exercise program and you get on the scale and now you're four or five pounds heavier than you were when you started, that doesn't mean it's not working. That actually means it probably is working because you're building muscle. Muscle weighs more than fat. So 
inevitably you're going to gain some weight because of the muscle. The goal eventually is to get it to where you're burning fat faster than you're building muscle. And that's a big part of where cardio comes in because you're still using the muscles and maybe not necessarily building them up and making them bigger so they'll weigh more as opposed to just using them to burn off that fat that you've built up and consuming the fat for energy to get your muscles going. So that's my little bit of advice today, a little bit, little bit of information I wanna throw at you. Like I said, all my information comes from things I've been told, things I've read. By no means am I an expert. If you doubt anything that I say, you might be right. You probably you could you probably are. Consult your doctor. Consult consult a, a, an actual expert first. I'm not an expert. I'm telling you things that I've been told and things that I've read, but that doesn't make me an expert by any stretch of the imagination. So don't take what I say as this is what you need to do. This is what you should do. Do what works for you. Don't let anybody else tell you what's going to work and what's not going to work. Um, obviously work with your doctor because certain things that might actually work for you could also be harmful for, for you at the same time like if you're a diabetic you don't want to be cutting back on your food too much to the point where you start get, getting those diabetic um, attacks <clears throat> where you need like a shot of insulin or something like that you, we don't want that we still want to be healthy so consult your doctor before you start any kind of diet and exercise program, consult your doctor. That's what I did. I talked to my doctor first before I really got going with everything. I, in particular, I talked to a physical therapist who was in contact with my doctor, who was also in contact with specialists for my knees. And the physical therapist said, if my knees feel okay, then I could do more extensive stuff. My knees feel great, actually. They feel really, really good, really strong. I feel good. <laughs> my lungs don't right now <coughs> because of the cardio that I was doing and uh, that's another uh, thing like as you're doing cardio you may reach times when th I just found this out recently uh, you, you may reach a point in where you're doing cardio where you kind of get a, the taste of iron or blood in your mouth and it, it can be disconcerting to you know the fact that you you, you might think that you're coughing up blood or bleeding internally or something like that but in reality that's not what it is you're getting more blood to your lungs because your lungs need the blood to function um, so you, your blood is moving quicker your heart rate's up your blood is moving quicker more blood is going to your lungs which is what's giving you that irony taste in your mouth so don't Unless you actually do start coughing up blood, don't be too concerned if you can taste iron in your mouth. Because, like I said, your your blood is pumping faster because your heart rate's higher. So your heart is pumping blood through your body faster because it needs to get oxygen to those limbs that you're using, your extremities. And how does oxygen get to those extremities? Through your blood. Your heart is that muscle that pumps your blood, that moves the blood around your body. Your lungs, are what provides the oxygen to your blood. So your blood is going in and out of your lungs really fast. Take it just so that you can get that oxygen going to the whole, to, to your whole body. <coughs> Excuse me, man. If you can't tell, my lungs are burning. So anyways, that was my day today. I'm going to go hop in the shower, get cooled off, and see you guys next time. I hope my information that I'm giving you is at least a little bit helpful. Like I said, I'm not an expert, so don't take my word as law. It's just what I've learned through my own research and experience and people telling me things that are much smarter when it comes to this stuff than I am. So I'm just relaying messages. I'm the messenger. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just telling you what I've been told. If you guys have ideas for exercises that I can do, things that I can try eating, let me know down in the comments. As always, thank you guys so much for being here for me and watching. 
and supporting me and in my endeavor. I'm here for you guys too. If you need some support, if you need someone to talk to for a little while, let me know and I will I will shoot you a message in some way, shape or form letting you know uh, how you can contact me and I will do my best to talk to you and help you out as, as best I can. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe and ring that bell because when you ring that bell, you get notifications every time I post new videos, which I do daily. I will see you guys next time. Until then, keep your head up and keep moving forward. This is Rothnam signing off. Bye-bye.